Hello, welcome to another video. So today we're going to do something a little bit different um, and try out FreeBSD. So I've never actually used FreeBSD before at all. So I'm probably going to make a bit of a fool of myself as I stumble through your FreeBSD guys beloved operating system. But we're going to have a go. Um, I've installed it, I've tried to install a couple of extensions and then just reboot it. So we're going to see if that's worked and then just have a look around. So let's just log in. What's this here? VirtualBox kernel service is not running. Okay, we'll have a look at why that might be. Right, it's probably not installed. Okay, so this is the desktop as you'd normally expect, which is GNOME. I've not done much. I've installed a few packages and then rebooted just to see how it goes. Um, installing packages is quite nice, so it's just a simple pkg install and then a package. So let's try GIMP. Uh, let's go into root. I haven't given this user root. Uh, pseudo privilege yet. so let's try that again so pkg install gimp so update the repository so there we go number of packages to be installed 15 oh I've got the hot corner there uh, 241 meg so we'll go forward with that installation it's a fairly sort of quick process I think um, I'm not sure if there's any sort of front end for a store or like a synaptic alternative sort of thing to install packages for you, like a G, like a GUI. Um, but it seems okay. I've tried a few things like Arc Theme and stuff are not on there. I'm sure there's a way to get it going. But let's have a look at the tweaks to see if my tweaks have actually worked. How strange. I've only just started it up. Let's have a look. No, they haven't. Okay, let's try and try and do that again. I have installed Firefox as well. It comes with GNOME Web or Epiphany or whatever it's called, but that's not really going to do us any good for what we need. Um, it's almost done there. Okay, let's see what version of GIMP it's given us. Let's see, oh, there you go, two point ten. Actually, that's not too bad. That's that's pretty up to date. That's more up to date than uh, sort of I think. Even a bit new 18.04 might still be on 2.8. I might be wrong, but okay, I expected it to be a bit older than that. Brilliant. Let's try. So, has it come with any Office sort of Libra or anything installed out of the box? So, it's all sort of fairly familiar GNOME stuff here that you'd be used to on a sort of a GNOME Linux distribution. I installed Plank earlier. Um, no. So, let's try and install Libra Office Suite and see how we get with that. Let's just go LibreOffice, not write or anything, just LibreOffice. Cool, nearly 800 meg. Let's do it. Right, while that's doing that, let's have a look around at what version of GNOME this comes with. So it's not got the keyboard shortcut yet. So let's just quickly update a keyboard shortcut for the terminal for Control Alt T. One thing I have noticed is that scrolling up is not working on the mouse. Scrolling down is, so there's something going wrong there with the, maybe a driver issue, I'm not too sure. It's a virtual machine, so I'm not too sure why that is. Um, what was I doing? Where have we got to now? Oh, of course. <laughs> right, let's sort the um, shortcut out for the terminal. It'll just save us a bit of time. Having a, I'm going to have to... Yeah, the mouse is not great on here to be honest. Right, so we're going to do custom shortcut, just call it gnome terminal and we'll do the same command and then we'll set, uh, set the shortcut as control alt t so hopefully there we go. So I have installed screen fetch as well there we go, so this is free BSD 12.0 release Packages 658, GNOME version 3.28.2, Window Manager Mutter, um, and it comes out of the box with the Eduata theme. So we're using 4 gig of RAM, and we've given it, I'm not too sure how many cores, we're, have we got HTOP? Let's have a look. Is there a system monitor? System monitor, there we go. I'm not too sure how many cores we've given it. There we go, we've given it four cores, so it should be fairly snappy, really, as we navigate through. And it sort of is. I haven't really experienced any huge lag. 
So we're still going with here. It's got to get 47 packages. Is that about 14? Let's open up Firefox and see if we can get any GNOME extensions working. So we'll have to install the plugin for the browser, the extension. Here it is. Okay, so let's just refresh this page and see if that's all. Right, so it hasn't got Chrome Known Shell, whatever it is, I'm not too sure. Arch Linux, yeah, see Chrome Known Shell, Debian, Ubuntu, uh, FreeBSD is supported since version 10. First of all, make sure the following dependencies are installed. Blah blah blah. Is it not just a package? Okay, I'm not going to bother doing that at the moment. I'm not too fussed. What we will do is just close this a moment and just see maybe if restart might have been why it's what it needed. No, so it needs, needs Chrome known shell. Okay, I might do that later on at some point, but not for now. So, oh, we haven't got our minimize buttons or anything like that. So let's get back to tweaks. This isn't tweaks, is it? And then just go into Windows and have, scroll down, and then we want that and that. There we go. So we've got minimize and maximize and everything else that we want. So is this stored Libra now? Okay, cool. Let's have a look. And then what we'll do is we'll pin that. We'll pin that to our plank. Have we open plank? No. We need to add plank to the auto start as well. Let's just pin that to the dock. And then let's go into session and auto. Hmm, maybe some tweaks for this one. So if we go to startup, we can do it in here. Let's try and find plank. There we go. Perfect. Right. Let's get rid of that. There's still a process running. I don't know what process is running. Oh, it's because I'm in root. Let's just leave that for the moment. We might want to install some more things. Right, so where's there we go? So let's see what version of LibreOffice we get. 6.3.2. What current version are we on? Is that the latest? Let's have a look. 6.3.2 and 6.3. But to be honest, these packages all seem pretty, pretty damn up to date and what they should be. So I'm not too bothered about that. It doesn't seem to be all the packages you might want. Let's try HTOP. It should that? Yeah, there we go. So what we've got on HTOP, so we're using 1.7 out of 4 gig. Um, I haven't seen actually what it uses at boot without anything running. We'll do that just towards the end of the video and see what we're doing. But so far, um, I'm, I'm quite liking it. I, I would never use it right now to replace any operating system like Linux. I just don't think it's mature enough. Well, it, it probably is. It just doesn't have the packages I want. And it's, it's all well and good jumping around on a virtual machine I'm sure I'd run into some problems if I was to deploy this on any of my actual dedicated machines but no I actually expected this to be a lot worse of an experience than what it is the installation wasn't the most fun I've ever had to be honest and it reminds me of going back a bit I think they probably need to update that whole process do they have any bundled sort of ISOs with a desktop already included I probably might do Uh, 
I don't know, maybe they don't. But it's been okay. It's been a fun sort of experience. I'm going to keep this virtual machine up and running and to sort of have a poke around and maybe do a few more videos on it because I feel like we've just sort of had a quick look around and it's not provided me many issues so far apart from we need to get the GNOME extensions working. I'll get that working a bit later and then we can just get GNOME looking how I like it to look on most Linux distributions. Um, I'm going to just pause the video here and reboot it and then we'll see what ra the amount of RAM we're using and then just cut the video off there. Okay and we're back so we're just going to have a quick look at how much RAM we're using at boot and then we're just going to end the video there. So, let's pop open the terminal. As you see, Planks booted up now as it should. So we're just going to go to HTOP. So we're using 720. That's that's pretty good for a GNOME installation, I think, to be honest. Considering we have installed some stuff ourselves and we've not uninstalled any of the, you know, the bloat and stuff they install with a general GNOME installation anyway. I think that's that's pretty decent. Um, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe.